Hey, what's up everybody? See Breach coming to you. Uh, last night finally was able to pop in the Elimination Chamber. Uh, the Blu-ray came out the week before WrestleMania. I wasn't able to pick it up because I was trying to order it from WWE Shop so I can get the shirt from the event. Uh, like I said, it's always smart for when you go to the shows. It's always nice to pick up the shirts when you're there, but if you buy the package deal from WWE Shop, you're going to get the uh, the Blu-ray and, uh, and the shirt for the same price you would have got it at the event. So. For me, it was just smart to order it from them and, and um, just get it through the mail. Of course, you don't get it on the release day, which is always fun, driving out to the stores, picking it up. But right here, I always thought this was a really cool cover. It got knocked because it's a couple couple year old picture of Edge that they stuck on the, pic the cover of the Elimination Chamber. But pretty cool cover. This is the uh, Blu-ray DVD combo, which everything comes with now. Blue one is the uh, Blu-ray, which makes sense. Red one is DVD. I stuck my tickets in there because it's always fun to do that with you. I put in my uh, Elimination Chamber ticket, and then I put in the SmackDown from the night after. Um, this Raw, uh, this one uh, comes uh, with the uh, Monday Night Raw from the uh, week before uh, the Elimination Chamber. Luke Cage is in attendance, as everybody knows. That was the uh, Monday Night Raw where we saw the return of The Rock finally to Monday Night Raw in the WWE. Um, pretty good Raw. They get stuck on there. Um, you also get stuck with the uh, the Cena. Uh, interview from the next week where uh, he did the first round knockout rap calling out The Rock, uh, which is always pretty cool. I just downloaded it and put it on my MP3 player, the uh, the remix that somebody did on YouTube. So I already had it pretty much, but it's good to have. But um, all in all, um, the Elimination Chamber, when I was there, I sort of knocked it. I didn't think it was all that great, but I think it was just the Elimination Chamber is a hard you know, sort of structure to see into, no matter how good or how bad your seats are. Our seats were good. Uh, you know, we were probably 20 yards uh, from the ring, but, you know, for the pod we chose was the pod that the big show was in the whole time. He was the last guy in. We were behind Cena. He was the last guy in. So when those guys are in there fighting, and plus you got the pods in the corner, it's just it's just hard to see. I wouldn't I wouldn't say I, that I don't recommend you to go to see the Elimination Chamber match, you know, if, when they come to your town, if you're that lucky, but... I'm just saying beware that, you know, you get great seats or you're sort of screwed. Um, but I, I had fun that night. The wrestling matches that, that weren't chamber matches were good. We got to see the return of, you know, Trish Stratus, which uh, I thought would get a bigger pop than what it did. Uh, everybody just sort of treats you like she's just another diva. You know, divas don't really get the respect that, uh, you know, a wrestler like The Rock coming back, which, and, you know, she's she's one of the best divas uh, wrestlers that the uh, WB's ever had. So she deserves it. Uh, everybody knows about this card pretty much. Uh, Elimination Chamber. Um, you got um, a whole bunch of guys on the Raw team. You got you got that could have won this. You got Cena and you got Orton. That was the big story. One of these guys. Even if Punk won, I don't think people would have been happy. Then you get stuck with our Truth, which doesn't make any sense. Every once in a while, they pop him up and treat him like he's the main eventer on the Raw team whenever they need they need him. Uh, but th this was a good match. I honestly was very surprised that Cena won. I, I thought that they were going to go in a different direction with him uh, other than uh, fighting Miz for the number one contendership. I thought that he was going to feud with Punk because the, the Nexus versus Cena feud was pretty strong. And then they flipped that into a different direction. He went uh, Punk versus, uh, versus Orton. But um, then, then over on the SmackDown brand, honestly going into this, there was two guys on this that was going to win it. Everybody, you know, the, the fan favorite was Edge. And then Mysterio was my pick to win it only because... Del Rio had the number one contendership, so it doesn't make sense for him to fight any other guy on here. So, you know, even though you got a guy like Wade Barrett, who you know was the, one of the main guys on Raw, it, it just wouldn't have made sense to go in any other direction. So, um, you know, Edge won it. All in all, these Elimination Chambers stepped up. I mean, uh, th there was destruction in this Elimination Chamber like none other. I think these are two of the best Elimination Chambers that... Um, I've seen, you know, throughout through all the years they've done the Elimination Chamber. There was stuff in there they that they did. It was just crazy. Morrison did the spot where he climbed up at the top and dropped down on Sheamus, which is pretty, you know, you know it was it was pretty cool. I, I think that uh, Sheamus was out of the spot, and if it, if he were to hit it right, it would it would have went over a whole lot better. But all in all, great stuff. Mysterio climbing up and jumping off the top of a pod. You can go crazy for that. It wasn't real big on the Miz versus Jerry Lawler. Uh, the, the match wasn't that over. And plus, I thought that uh, the crowd was going to be a lot behind Lawler for the match. But it ended up being a heel crowd in Oakland that night. And everybody was really behind the Miz, which uh, didn't give that much, uh, you know, you know much respect to Lawler to, to win that match. But uh, Kofi Kingston versus Alberto Del Rio was a great match. You also got your tag team championship match with the uh, 
the core going up against Santino and Kozlov. All in all, eh, all right, tag match. But this is a good show, you know, for only 20 bucks for being able to go out and pick up a pay per view. Uh, you get the Blu ray and the DVD. WWE is giving you a huge bargain right here. I, I say that, you know, more than likely your Walmart is going to stock this, if not head over to your Best Buy. And like I said, it's just a good out, all out deal. Worst comes to worst. You know, if, if you only need one, you can keep the Blu-ray for yourself and find somebody out there to buy the you know the, the DVD for five bucks for you, and you know then then you're already down to fifteen. So I mean, um, more than likely, I mean I'm gonna watch this. I'll never even put this in my DVD player, but eh, you never know. It's, it's good to have, I guess. But whatever gets people over to the Blu-ray thing, so you know the WWE can just start pumping out one uh, form of uh, media, and that way. Hopefully it'll get cheaper with with them not having to put out two. But like I said, you get the the, the raw, yeah, the whole raw where uh, the Rock comes back. Um, the Miz versus Daniel Bryan on there. Every time those guys mix it up, it always always good. I can't wait for Bryan to hit the main event and hopefully have some sort of a program with the Miz because according to me, if I add it up, I think they've had four matches now, and I don't think any of them have uh, let me down. You get the uh, the Cena comeback against the Rock. Um, from the uh, February 21st Raw, you know what? Luke Cage was at that Raw too. That was in Fresno. So, all in all, like I said, go out, pick this up. Elimination Chamber 2011 review. I say it's good.